where the guards are on our side. Actually, if you went that way and we stood back a bit, we'd have the sun in our place. So I just thought Mike can give us a bit of a spiel on what it's all about. Your phone just went off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello again from McLaren Vale. So today we're in Mike's vineyard. He's just finished up pruning for the season. So I thought it'd be a good chance to chat about the vineyard and the sustainable wine growing program that he's involved in. So if you don't mind giving us a bit of a spiel on what it's all about. Yeah, well, um, the vineyard here we, we uh, uh, inherited from Anna's parents who, who developed the vineyard in the 90s. Uh, we, we took charge of our six six seven years ago um, and we've made some improvements um, irrigation wise and and throw s s s some viticultural practices uh, the the soil we have here is it's called the Bay of Biscay I just call it black goo when it gets wet and then it's really dry very difficult soil to uh, to work with but it produces some some absolutely wonderful fruit of 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 this soil, uh, we have a have uh, all our rows a east west orientation for, for maximum sunlight through the growing season, which has um, we're 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 actually within sight of the coast from here, so we have a lot of coastal influences on the on the uh, on on the grapes and how the, how they develop over the season, which which here we. Um, we're just go st starting, starting bud swell, and um, but, but they'll all be out in the, in the next couple of weeks, uh, through to harvest in about March. Uh, and the the other influences on our practices here on this vineyard is through, through sustainable wine growing um, Australia. Um, we were part of the uh, the pilot program back in oh, 2000 and. Nine, ten, about ten, I think it was. And the program is really uh, aimed at improving your heavy cultural practices, so that to ensure your long-term financial and the environmental uh, sustainability of your vineyard for both now while you're going and for for, for, for all future generations. That's 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 whether it's it's uh, Anna and my. Uh, kids or, or whoever if they decide to take it over or someone else or, or whatever but that's an important thing that we are custodians of this land and, we, and we, sh we should leave it in a good state for whoever comes after us. Exactly. Well thanks so much for the, a bit of an insight into the vineyard and where your V15 fruit's coming from so we'll look forward to hearing the next um, outcome of voting which is actually on the packaging of the wine. So cheers! Cheers! <laughs>